So, today I want to talk to you about something that uh, came to me as I was sending my newsletter letter yesterday. Um, I try to send a newsletter to all my mailing list, which is around a thousand people. I try to send it once a month, I try to be very consistent. And uh, yesterday there was some sort of a, of a problem, I would say. I got a lot of rejected emails. I always follow up on the statistics of uh, each campaign. And there was an unusually high number of rejected emails. Basically, everyone who's using a Yahoo account blocked me. And also a few of uh, the Remax domains, the Remax in Germany and in Netherlands, I think. So I looked into it. There was a problem with the way the email was written down. It was marked as spam because of some of the links. You know, a whole blah, blah, blah story, uh, which is uh, unfortunate because I really love to get my messages across and communicate with people that I care about. And many of them didn't receive. I think I had like more than 100, 150 rejected uh, emails. And that's not including the ones who just went into spam naturally and I will never know about it. But it got me thinking about this thing that I call the bow and arrow growth pattern in your business. Um, internet has gotten us used to, I think at least, in the last 20, 25 years, the internet has gotten us used to the things for free. We just don't like paying for stuff anymore. Now it's true, we never liked paying for stuff in any media, but I think the internet made so many things accessible for free. If it's the knowledge, the information, uh, news, sports, um, even streaming, TV, shows, dramas, and in addition to these apps, most of the apps that we use these days on our phone are free. So we're becoming very hesitant to pay money for, sting, for things. And what I've discovered that in your business, you have to ante up and just pay for stuff because free stuff, cheap stuff, it gives you a, gets you to a certain level, but it's not where you want to bring your business to. Um, so, you know, everything that I do, it costs money. You know, working with Google Apps or the way they call it today, the G Suite, it costs money, not a lot of money, but everything adds up. It's like $10 a month. And then when I do my mailing, there are so many mailing services for free out there. I pay for a mailing service that gives me control, gives me ability to manage my templates, to even use my own drafts my own Gmail drafts as, as the basis for the, for the mailing list. And of course, statistics um, and open rates and clicks and CTRs and so on. So if you want to get results and if you want to get good stuff, you have to invest. And I see it in everywhere. And that's why I call it the bow and arrow growth pattern. Because when you want to grow, it's like shooting an arrow forward. You want to take your business to a new level. You want to hire better people. You want to hire a new person in a role that you never, you know, you never staffed before. Every time you want to shoot that arrow forward, and you have a target that you want to get to. Every time, if you want to shoot an arrow forward, you need to pull the bow backwards. Pulling the bow backwards is what you feel in your business as a step back in your cash flow, in your, in your in everyday profit profitability, because that's the only way you can really shoot an arrow, is you have to pull the bow backwards, you know, pull the string. And the further you pull it back, the further it goes away. So what does that mean? The bigger the investment many times, the better the results are. But we don't like the investment because that part hurts. It hurts you in the, sh in the long term. No, in the short term, actually, it hurts you. And in the long term, it's a risk. It's always a risk when you hire a new person, when you invest in a new technology, in a platform, in a product. It's always a risk. You never know how, the, uh, how it's going to pan out. But without taking these micro risks, you're never gonna grow. You're, go you're gonna stay the same size and even downsize and, you know, God forbid, go out of business because you cannot only, only look at the immediate cash flow of your situation. So you have to think, okay, this is my target. And this is where I want to take my business in one year, in five years, in 10 years. That's, you know, like in the, in the movies, that's like the three circles, five circles, and you want to hit the bullseye. But in order to hit the bullseye and to make that arrow, boom, stick right in there, you have to really pull back the string of your bow. And that part is painful and it takes time and it, it puts you backwards. It sends you backwards a little bit, but it will bring you benefits. So, you know, we have a great broker, one of our broker owners in Israel, and he's already hired so many people, you know, like a trainer, he has a trainer in his office and a manager, a recruiter, um, of course, secretaries, administrative stuff. And every time he tells me, you know, I, it's always painful to hire a new person, to know that you're gonna take a hit in the cash flow. But what he's learned from his experience is that when you pay 
little, when you invest little, you get little people. You get people who are not qualified to feel, fulfill that role. You get a technology that is not good enough to fulfill your mission because you went cheap. And good things cost money. And really good things cost real money. But that's the only way you can grow. That's the only way you can take your business anywhere. And whenever you're in a, in a fork, you know, in, a, in the road, and you say, okay, I can skimp and I can, you know, not make the big investment and try to survive with what I currently have, or I'm going to double down on my own business. I'm going to bet on myself. I'm going to make sure that the money I invest is going to quadruple itself, um, you know, 500, 1,000% down the line. But down the line is where the arrow is going. And that's what you need to be committed to. Bow and arrow, my friends, bow and arrow. Go back, shoot forward. Only way to grow. And that's my thought for this morning. See ya.